let's go ahead and review Nitro Pack. It's a free WordPress plugin that lets you optimize your site. Plus, it has a cache plugin and a free CDN. There's some good stuff and some bad stuff that I want to talk to you about. So if you want to check out Nitro Pack, link will be provided in the description. And let's go check out this plugin. What's up, SaaS Masters? Like I said, we are going to review Nitro Pack, which is a cache and speed optimization plugin that's found in WordPress. And there is a free version. Now, before I jump into the limitations that Nitro Pack has, let me show you the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. And they have affordable shared hosting plans that you can install WordPress sites super easily. Now, the pricing, you're going to find it over here in Hosting. Jump into Web Hosting. And if you want to check it out, a link we provided in the description. And there's an extra discount coupon code that I want to give you. Now, they have several plans. And in this case, I'm going to show you this plan, which is the business plan. It's $3.99 a month. Let's go ahead and add it to cart to show you the extra discount coupon code. Once you're here, you want to select the amount of time that you want to purchase this hosting plan for. Now, there's a 48 month plan, which is what I recommend because obviously you lock in the price for 48 months. You're good to go for 48 months, no payments until four years, and the renewal price is also lower. Now, right now, the price is $191 for this plan, but if you add my coupon code, which is SAS Master, go ahead and apply it, and the price is gonna drop to $172.37. Like I said, you pay this and you're good to go for 48 months, okay? Now, let's go jump over to Nitro Pack. Like I said, there's things that I like and dislike about Nitro Pack, and once you install the plugin here, go ahead and jump into add new plugins, search for Nitro Pack, install and activate it, okay? Jump into settings and you're gonna find it right here, Nitro Pack. Now, one of the different things that Nitro Pack has from other plugins is that this works off site. You have to jump into their website to tweak the cache settings and the optimization settings. Now, that's something I dislike in my personal opinion, but if, you, if that's not a big problem for you, then go ahead and do it this way, okay? Now, on their site, this is where the optimization is going to happen. Now, like I said, the free plugin has some limitations and you might not like this, okay? So first of all, this is a free subscription. It's one website connected. You get a limitation of 5,000 pa 5, page views and you get one gigabyte of CDN bandwidth. Now, for low traffic websites, this is more than enough. So you're good to go. And But if this has a large traffic site where you got a lot of traffic, then this plan is not going to be enough for you. So you might want to skip on this or jump into the paid plan. Okay. Now, another limitation that's really important to consider with this is that they have a Nitro Pack banner in the footer because it's the free version. So some of these other plugins don't have that a little banner. So that might not be really uh, great for us. So if you don't like that, you want to skip on this plugin. Okay. Now to jump into the settings for the cache settings, go into here, cache settings, go into general, and you have optimization settings here. You got four optimization levels and you want to enable one of these. I would recommend trying out the Ludicrous, which is the most uh, powerful optimization settings that Nitro Pack has. But be aware that when you activate this, go check your site that it doesn't break because there's a lot of compression going on and there's optimization going on. So it might break your site. So in that case, you want to lower the compression, the optimization to strong, medium or standard. So as you activate these, go ahead and test it out. I recommend starting from strongest to lowest. OK, and then you got your settings here. Here's the Nitro Pack batch that I was talking about. There's a light and dark mode and you, you can't disable it because we're on the free version. Now, how does that banner look? Well, let's go into the demo page that I have. Let me go ahead and open this up in incognito mode. OK, here's the page. Scroll all the way down here. Here is that little banner that I, I was I was talking about. So that might be a big turnoff for many. So if you don't like that, you want to skip on it. Okay. Now you got webhooks available and you got API keys, things that you don't find normally on other free cache plugins. So you do have that. Okay. Then you got your image and media settings. You got a lazy load images. You want to enable that. And you got your lazy load iframes, image and video optimization. You can select the amount of compression that you want to enable this. And you got your adaptive image sizing again, something that you don't find normally on free optimization plugins. Okay. Then you got your JavaScript settings from here. You got your HTML and CSS settings. You want to tweak these. You got your font settings and your cache settings. Okay. So go ahead and test all these out, enable and disable. And I do recommend that you check your website when you tweak these 
settings okay and in the end you got your analytics for your usage okay and in the beginning you got your dashboard for the optimization settings here like basic analytics for this so that is nitro pack like i said it's a free optimization plugin the only thing that i really dislike about it is in my personal opinion is the banner in the footer okay and the other thing is the limitations but if you have low traffic sites this is more than enough plus it's free so if you want to check it out link will provide link will be provided in the description and don't forget the extra discount coupon code if you plan to grab a shared hosting plan from hostinger it's sas master all right and that's a wrap for this video